Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Duelist Game, and today is another Tryout Thursday. So, today we are going to be reviewing some products. It's just Dunkin' Donuts stuff, but um, I got this. Uh, I got the idea to do this because I was watching the Twitch Rivals tourney, and they had all the refreshers, and I want to go and try them. But instead of playing a bunch of games today, what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and review the product. We're just going to drink the drinks that I've got here, but we're also going to go ahead and do some creative. Uh, maps that we'll just go through and look at some and try out some new ones but mostly I just want to talk about today the direction of Fortnite and what we've kind of been seeing with this new season today of chapter 5 so it's chapter 5 season 4 I played the new release and um, I've already got my win I've got a couple wins um, but we're gonna go ahead and talk about how some people have been feeling and how I feel about the game and how hopefully you guys are feeling about the game while I'm drinking my drink so before we do all of that, make sure you guys like the video, also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button so you guys can get notified when I'm posting more videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start talking about and reviewing and trying out some maps. Here we go. So real quick, just to show you guys what drinks we've got, we got the Dunkin' Refreshers. This one is a mango pineapple green tea uh, refresher, kiwi watermelon, and then just a straight up lemonade. This is kind of a mystery flavor, so we'll try to see what... It is in a bit, but I'm gonna drink on these slowly while I'm playing the game. So I'm gonna put the other two in the fridge and then we're gonna, let's drink the kiwi one first, Ki kiwi watermelon. All right, so we're gonna try this map out. I'm gonna drink this and then uh, first things first, a sip. Wow, that tastes pretty dang good. First thoughts on the season so far. I enjoy it, actually. I really do enjoy it. I have not played ranked build mode yet, but I imagine that it's gonna be a little bit crazy. I think it's been pretty great. I think that some of the items that they've added, like some of the mythics have been just way too strong. I'm not going to lie. The War Machine Mythic, the like the one that you can shoot rockets and machine gun with, that is far too strong and it spawns far too much. So now we're going to say something positive about the season because I, I got that out of the way. I think that's a huge one is to talk about the War Machine thing. Um, they did an amazing job on the map hugely amazing job on the map um the updates to the top corner of the map the top side of the map it's beautiful the raft being added it's a great replacement for pleasant piazza i see a lot of people landing there piazza i guess is how i'm supposed to say um i think it's a it's a great spot a lot of people are landing there competing what the? that scared the crap out of me let me get this out before we do any more because that scared the crap oh my god dude that's scared the crap out of me bro dude hold on i'm trying to talk about something and you're scared the crap out of me i actually got shivers bro what the heck i was saying that the map is great what they, the changes that they did to get the uh, top side it's beautiful right and i think that what they've done with the medallions is beautiful i don't like the cloak medallion really i don't think there's a need for the cloak medallion and um you know <laughs> it's 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 just a i think it could have been replaced by a better medallion i think that that could have been something else like a speed medallion again or they could have done something like a uh I don't know they could have done like a, a like a spawner medallion like to spawn ammo for yourself or spawn like heals for yourself i know they got the siphon medallion but something like something creative like that right or or something where you could give somebody anti-grav right like not only yourself but you can select somebody to give anti-grav right i think that like you could use it as like an assist type of medallion where you give someone else uh, anti-grab or something like that. I think that medallion could d be done without but all the other medallions like it's cool to have siphon It is cool to have the scan right the scan is a bit too strong, but um, Or not the scan. No, I'm sorry the scans not too strong But I do think that scans in general are, are pretty strong But n luckily that the range on the scan medallion is not too big. So it's not like overpowered or anything It's doable to deal with and you know, it's like the flares kind of so except it doesn't do damage to anybody what the? the other items they're doing really well i think the the flying is a cool mobility item like the flying the flying jetpacks for war machines jetpack i think i think that's a really cool item and i think that the 
Uh, I think that the the auto turret. I don't know. I think the auto turret is is a cool gimmick, but I just think it it causes for some some issues. I think I really do think it causes for some issues. I know it only does five damage, but those little five ticks they can be little bits of problem <laughs> because it's just auto aim, just brain brainless. Here it is, and I know it takes up a slot, but maybe that type of thing just doesn't need to be in the game, maybe, you know? So, that's my thoughts on the, all the War Machine and like new items that got added in. Now, the Captain America shield that got added in, that is a fun item, it is, but it can be pretty strong in, uh, I think, build, it, it can be pretty strong because with third partying with that item, you can just make it bounce through people, like, while pe people are fighting, you can just make it bounce in their boxes, and, and that's kind of like, and you can do it from a far distance, right? You could just, and I don't think you get an audio cue for that when that gets thrown. So I think, I think maybe, I have to double check, but I think there should be, like, a bigger audio cue, personally, for the, uh, the Captain America shield, I think. Uh, I do think, though, that it coming back and going through builds is a little much. I think that's a little too strong. So let's go and try another map. I don't know what's going on here. This is pretty cool. Scared me. <laughs> um, I do think that the the Captain America shield is good and it's fun to use. But I do know that we've already found exploits with it, with it coming through builds, coming back to you, phasing through builds and hitting people. That's a problem. I think I also can throw it through builds at the front. If you are standing close enough to a wall, I'm pretty sure you could throw it through a wall. I, I'll, I think I have a clip of it. I'm going to look for it and, and hopefully have it right here. Hey! Hey! Hey, this is going through the wall! And that's another problem. That's like the chains of Hades going through walls again. Um, that's a problem. Items should not be going through builds. That's that's a huge problem. So unless it's specifically made to phase through walls, that is what it says on the item, right? Like like if that's what Fortnite has intended for it, if that's what Epic wants, then it needs to say that kind of thing, right? It needs to be specifically made for that kind of thing, and it should not do as much damage as the Captain America shield does. Going back on the the map changes. Okay, so in Castle Doom, Castle Doom has some non-breakable like walls and i think obviously basements have like those non-breakable walls and i kind of understand that but uh castle doom has some unbreakable walls which i think i kind of hate that fortnite has those things like as an inherently build like player from the og days and still loving like how pretty much everything was breakable except right the ter terrain pretty much right i don't like when builds are unbreakable. I think most builds, if as long as they're not like a basement build, I think they should be breakable. And even then, I think the basements should just be like dirt walls that are unbreakable, right? Um, like I think the walls should break down until it's the dirt walls. I don't know if that causes issues with like the building or something, and that's why Epic has made it so that there are you know the unbreakable walls. But I don't think those should be really like a huge part of the game, a huge part of the POIs, right? But it is in in um, Castle Doom. So that's that to me is a bit of a problem. No, Doomstat, no, Doomstat is a beautiful place. I haven't really found too many issues with it. I haven't found really any issues that, that I can think of. But the raft, I think the raft is good too. Uh, I like the jail, like the, it's, it's kind of like the same POI. We've had this similar POI before where it was like a prison um this is just revamped right and this is more like chapter two style i think with like the agency type helicopter pads and stuff like that i think this is a, a good fit and a good direction towards the you know chapter two og coming back i think in, in my personal opinion now talking about each boss i think each boss is uh pretty good i haven't fought i need to fight mysterio i haven't gotten to fight him i've gotten the medallion from him but i just haven't gotten to fight mysterio yet because i haven't really landed there and been able to, uh, you know, keep alive to fight the boss once it was cleared. I think Fortnite just crashed on me, by the way. But, um, 
fighting the wrath boss emma frost that's uh that's fun i don't really like that she goes invincible you know you shouldn't be wasting too much to kill the bosses i think i i don't think i have always been a, pro a proponent on, or of like kind of like getting the, away from the ai i think there's just too many ai but it feels a little more manageable this season somehow but they still are slightly too strong i think um and the dude the noise with them is so chaotic and i know a lot of people like it personally me i just i'm not a fan of like having all the ai uh like the for the npc ai running around fighting and stuff like that i've never been too big of a fan of that uh if it was just the medallion bosses i think i'd be a lot better with it and i think it'd be a lot better to be honest but dr doom now I think he's a fun fight. I really do think he is a enjoyable fight for a boss. Um, I like going to Castle Doom the most. That's my favorite POI, favorite drop right now to go to. And I think fighting for that medallion is pretty fun too in that castle area. It just feels pretty cool with like the towers and all the zip lines that are, that are over there. And um, his, his like main throne room is a good place to fight in, I think. But it is also a good place where... Uh, you could easily get third partied and someone could easily come in and shoot you from the rafters or from up above so that is a problem but that's also why that's also why you have to build and everything and, and do the usual when you're fighting a medallion boss right they did a pretty good job in that area they did a great job with the bosses i think i just think that emma frost right well actually i can't i can't even say that they've done a great job on all the bosses because I have not fought Mysterio. So maybe we can hop into a game and see how it's like to fight Mysterio in a second here. But I think Emma Frost, uh, she just does not need the diamond mode. Um, but I, I guess, what the heck is going on? I, th I think that, uh, <laughs> I think that, that Dr. Doom was done really well, I think. I think he's a great medallion boss, so. The only thing is all all the little 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 uh little NPC AI, they they could go. <laughs> they could always go. We we always don't need them, you know. So we could do without that. Another mystery game by the way. This one's made by Epic. Okay. Not really sure what we're doing here. Oh, keys. <laughs> so that's all the bosses. Okay, what's next to talk about? Okay, five minutes and thirty-six seconds. Let's. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab my second drink. I'll put this one in the fridge, and we're gonna try it. Okay. Sippy sip. Very tangy. Very tangy. That one's a mango pineapple. Wait, didn't I just open the door and then it just closes on me? Did I did I just get stuck? Uh, another. We're gonna go talk about some of the items again. Okay, some of the new weapons and stuff. Let's talk about the metal walls. Now, metal walls have been in the game before. It's not a completely new thing at all. Uh, I don't understand why Epic decided we need to bring back metal walls. I know it's to combat the War Machine Mythic. But that in itself should have been a, a red flag to them that to maybe the War Machine Mythic should have some sort of rework, right? If they need metal walls to combat it, they should have known that that's a problem. I got locked in. I don't think they should be in the game. I don't think that that's a good way to counterbalance the to counterbalance the rockets. I don't think it's a good way for them to to try and fix something that they know is broken. But it's in the game, and I think what they do, the metal walls, just they halt things, they slow things. Uh, the only way to combat them is with the shockwave nades, uh, war machine rockets themselves. But even that takes a long time. Uh, and the only way you can get in is through shock waving through, right? But this, this, that there is the problem as well. So let's say a player has metal walls, shock wave nades, and a flowberry fizz. They, they get cracked. They get completely beat in their fight. They simply box up 
metal walls all around, full heal. Let's say they have med kits as well. Um, they have full heal white heals, full heal shield heals. Uh, they have Flowberry Fizz Effect active. All they have to do if they have the Shockwave Nades, shock out with the Flowberry Fizz Effect. And they're flying away, right? Um, that's a problem. That is a huge problem. That is a full, huge reset. And all they have to do is to have four walls, a floor above, and a floor below. That is it. That is the only builds that they need, and then enough metal walls to replace all of that. Another thing, the metal walls can be used offensively, right? So if a player is rotating the zone, you can block them with the metal walls and make it pretty much impossible for them to get out if they don't have shockwave nades, right? Let's say a player is, uh, this has already been happening, a player is looting the bunker. All you have to do, set up a whole bunch of metal walls around them, and if they didn't get shockwave nades and they didn't have them going into the bunker, they're done deal. You could build a whole tunnel of metal walls and trap them in, right? And they'd be dead that way to zone eventually. Yes, you can break them, but Lord of mercy, it takes a long time. I don't see a good reason to have these metal walls in. I don't. I think it's it's much better to, if they're going to keep the War Machine Mythic like OP, I think it's much better to just let the the War Machine Mythic just, just obliterate people instead of having metal walls in as, as some sort of is some sort of counter which is not even being used for that it's not using it's there no one's really using it for that attorneys yes they are because um, i'm seeing attorneys that they have to they absolutely you you cannot counter those those war machine mythic without having those metal walls because if someone's on high with the war machine turret and, and missiles you're done for okay so talking about the new mythics that are dropped by the bosses the new mythic weapons uh the Emma Frost's Emma Frost Striker Burst AR, the AUG. It is a fairly good AR in terms of tag damage, right? It's not really meant for bursting down builds. It's not meant for spraying through builds or anything. It's more or less meant to be used kind of like the DMR for tags of, from a distance, right? Except it can have the capability of spraying walls a lot better than the DMR, right? So I think that's a, a better balance between like current ARs and also the DMR, right? Although I still love the DMR. I love what it was. I miss it, but this, this is a good gun too, right? The Sovereign Shotgun. We're going to talk about Mysterio Sovereign Shotgun specifically. Mysterio Sovereign Shotgun. I'm going to try to get this game to work again. Mysterio Sovereign Shotgun. I think Mysterio Sovereign Shotgun is awesome. I think the Sovereign Shotgun is just good. Um, I, I've seen some pros say that the shotgun, the new one, is not that great. I th I've seen some say it is good. So I'm not, we're mixed on the shotgun for some reason. Personally, when I've used it and when I've seen people use it against me, it feels good. Like, I don't see the downsides of it. I think it's pretty strong. Um, the only thing is the ADS is kind of slow, but there is a way where if you simply quick ADS and t uh, if, if you simply quick ADS and tap your shot, like if you tap a tap shot and the top out, it is quick. Like, it, it still gives you that accuracy as, as if you were ADSing, like, fully. So, I don't think you're you're looking to fully ADS. You're just quick scoping really with the shot with that shotgun so think of it that way uh in general for that that sovereign shotgun but the mysterious one is strong of course um supposedly there's a uh, gwenpool's dual micro smgs i have not seen that yet i don't think but i'm sure that's pretty strong because the dual micro smgs they're, they're they're pretty strong uh the there's not much like the 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 accuracy of them is actually pretty good from a medium distance so uh I definitely think that Gwenpool's would, would be pretty strong as well. Uh, Dr. Doom's Monarch Pistol. The Monarch Pistol. Now that pistol is insane, right? J j even Green Blue, uh, I, I love it a lot. I think there's a gray version, I can't remember. But uh, it, it, even if it's not the Mythic version, it's still a strong gun. I think it's a little bit too strong. I think it's a capability there to be used as a... Um, double double pump type of method so i think that i did get locked in last time so for yeah i got locked in last time <laughs> so i think there definitely is some capability for uh um double pump like we did with the uh not necessarily double pump but the pump deagle method i think you could do the pump uh monarch pistol pistol so, 
that's uh, worrisome. Also, the Monarch Pistol on its own is very, very strong. I'll include some clips probably. You guys have seen these if you watched the video of me winning uh, my first game in the new season, uh, which should already be posted up. And I've had my hands on the uh, Dr. Doom's Monarch Pistol a few times, quite a few times now. It's strong. It's hacking strong, dudes. Okay. Um, that covers most of the stuff, right? Uh, do, do I, I've talked about the dual micro SMGs, uh, how strong they can be. Um, obviously, it's like tap damage, but it's very accurate, right? It's extremely accurate uh, at, at a, a short range. Um, at least it, in some hands, it can be, I think. Uh, the striker burst, we've talked about it. I think that's a good... Uh, mid ground between the DMR and an AR. I just miss the DMR a lot. I do miss the DMR. <laughs> um, Sovereign shotgun. We've talked about it. Pros are mixed on it, but personally, from what I've seen, I think it's a pretty good shotgun. Um, and uh, Monarch pistol busted <laughs> in the right hands. It's going to be very busted. I think even in the wrong hands, it's going to be very busted. You just have to figure out the timing of it and how to shoot it. Like it, once you do great gun dude and i don't think it's that hard to figure out it really feels like it's a to me for some reason when i'm using it it feels pretty brain dead to output so much damage i can't really explain it other than it feels brain dead to be able to output so much damage so easily um uh, and then, uh whoa but i don't think the uh hover jets are enough movement or at least I think it's a little too hard to get them, right? I think something like a current mobility item for the season, I think I think it should drop a little bit more. I honestly think it should drop more than the uh, arsenal and much more than the auto turret, because it's not a damaging, um, it's not a damaging mobility item, right? And I like that it's not a mobility item that you can do damage with, right? I, I like that. I like that a lot. The only thing I can think is that maybe the Oh, damage. I, the only thing I can think is that maybe the, um, maybe it should make a little bit more noise and, and have better noise cue. I'm not really sure. I don't think it's, I, I'm not quite sure how quiet it is from my use of it, like uh, compared to like, you know, hearing it to, from other people. Cause I, I really haven't heard too many people use it around me too much. So for the most part, when they use it, I kind of knew where they were, but I don't remember an audio cue. Uh, no, there is an audio cue. There's an audio cue. So like, that might be okay. It might be okay how it is. Let's talk about cars still being in the game. I think that's a huge topic. Now, I've played both build and zero build. And I can without a doubt say that cars being in the game isn't inherently a problem. But I can say the mentality and mindset of certain players can be the problem. Now, when players think that they have to use that they have to use the cars that they feel that they have to use the cars that's a problem i uh, and i've found that build players do not have that mentality although it's great mobility and uh rotation this is why i think that there needs to be more jetpacks is that people don't feel like they need to use the cars for the transportation right but i'm finding that zero build players are hard crutching the cars still because they don't have builds to play off of right so they're playing off the cars and it's just, it's turning into chase scenes with the cars, especially endgame. And I think that's a huge problem. It should not be happening that way, right? But this is also a mentality thing. A lot of these zero build players are crutching on the fact that the cars exist. And it's it's kind of just their mindset to play in those cars. So if let me know if you're a zero build player, like what you think of the fact that so many zero build players are sticking to playing with cars even though they've removed all the augments and everything and cars are simply just mobility now players are still hard crutching them and i think that that's just i, I think it's a mentality thing right and i think cars should not be in rank that's another problem cars are in ranked right now they should not be in ranked if they're not in tournaments they should not be in ranked i think epics pushed last season to to remove things in rank that were not in tourneys to make tourneys and ranked much more similar i think that was a great move and i think they're reverting their thought process right now by keeping cars inside of ranked um i think there should be a direction for ranked and tourneys to go more towards removing things like mythics to removing things like 
uh, the cars, right? You know, obviously keeping cars out. There has to be this sort of like change and like more stability in the tourneys, I think. I think competitive and tourneys should have more of a simply just go by the gun loot pool, the mobility loot pool. Um, and that's that's pretty much it, whatever's on the map and stuff like that. But keep things like the uh, like the mythic jetpack, the myth, uh, not mythic jetpack, but the mythic war machine um, arsenal. Like the keep that out of the game, right? You can keep and, and mythic doom, myth doom's mythic item. That should definitely not. I don't know. I don't think that's in competitive right now. But I think it's still in ranked. I'm pretty sure it's still in ranked. Um, I haven't played ranked yet, so I'm I can't confirm that. But it's probably still in ranked. If cars are in ranked, if if the War Machine Mythic is still in ranked, I, I'm, I'm assuming Doctor Doom's um, gloves are still in ranked. We'll double wait. We'll double check here and check exactly what's in ranked right now. I, I think that it, the, all that stuff is still in ranked. So. This is a cool drink. <clears throat> but all in all, I think this has been a pretty cool season so far. I just think that there are a lot of things that uh, that do feel like slightly bit, bits of annoyances to be added in that they could just simply remove and then the season would be amazing. Um, but nothing is like, it's, it's not completely frustrating yet. It will be though, it will be soon, like the War Machine Mythic will be very very soon a, a frustrating thing to deal with. Um, walls are already a frustrating thing to deal with, but that's something they could simply just just fix that. Just do do without it. Just remove it. Just realize you made a mistake adding them back in. That's it. That's all they gotta do. And then cars, I think, uh, I really think that they could just, that's that's something that they, they can't change the player base. That's on the player base, I think. I think, that, I really think that's on the player base. You know, that's just something that they'll have to deal with, you know. Other than that, I think, uh, good season, guys. I've had a lot of fun playing it. I've had rage moments, but like I still have fun playing it. I enjoy the map. I enjoy the guns. Um, I enjoy the uh, medallions. I, for the most part, I enjoy the medallions, and for the most part, I'm enjoying like. I'm enjoying a lot of the. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying some fights. Yeah, wait, did I finish it? What the heck? I... All right, so I beat that map. <laughs> I'm enjoying the new weapons, I'm enjoying the new map changes, and uh, ultimately enjoying that the storyline is progressing soon as well. So, cool stuff so far. So we're going to go ahead and try ranked mode, and we're going to see how it is with the cars. I don't know if cars are in build mode, but I'm, I'm betting that they are if they're in ZB. Um, and we're going to see how just everything feels in ranked mode compared to, to, to casuals. And then uh, eventually I'm going to try out the... I might drop it into a casual game and try to see what it's like fighting Mysterio if we don't get to fight him in ranked. So we'll see how all this goes. And after a game or two, we'll give our thoughts on what's in ranked mode and everything for build. Um, and we'll wrap up and give our reviews on the Duncan Energizer drinks and final thoughts on the season. So season start. Stick around for that. Stick around for the games. And I'll see you guys in the game. Cars are still in, so there's verified already. Cars are still in, NPCs are still in. Okay. Avengers chest, nice. All right, so we've got a 50 pot, and we yep can confirm War Machines uh, Mythic <laughs> Arsenal is indeed still in ranked. That kind of confirms that more than likely every other Mythic is still in the game, right? Like. That guy goes down. Heroic Hope is here. She's changed. Monarch Pistol's in. I can't say I recommend being the subject of a prophecy. It's pretty terrifying. Plus, now I have to run all of my life decisions past a sentient glass of water. A very wise glass of water. Everybody's like cooking the <laughs> Oracle, but a glass of water nonetheless. Doom won't get away with this. I personally, I don't think that all this stuff should be in ranked. I, I really think that ranked should have more of a balanced mode. Should be more like tourneys. Should feel like tourneys. Because that's kind of how you practice too. Like, that's... For tourneys is using... Ranked. And I know there's scrims, right? Pros use scrims, but... You know. Hmm. 
right. And metal walls are in. So everything is confirmed to still be in ranked. I lost. So there you go. There's my first rank game. It was a lot of War Machine Mythic and a lot of metal walls. Boy. What a game. <laughs> so we're going to go into a casual game now and we're going to go ahead and see what it's like with uh, fighting Mysterio. Locking in. How did he. What? He just slid over there and broke my ramp. <laughs> Dude, what is that, bro? Where'd Mysterio go? So he clones himself. I got the medallion! Thank God for that. I have no white heels for this, so we're just going full send. Right here. Alright. Well, I can't go and get the medallion now. My game just crashed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these games, but to, to sum up what we've learned from here is that Ranked has everything that Casuals have, has and it should not. I think Metal Walls, I think uh, the uh, I think the War Machine Mythic, the Arsenal should not be in Ranked. I think Doom's Gloves should not be in Ranked, if they are. I don't think Cars should be in Ranked. And I'm not sure how I feel about the uh, higher level NPCs yet, so we'll have to see how that affects things. But there's a lot of things that needs to be balanced, and I hope that the evaluation cups will help Epic balance out the ranked and tourneys to wear modes because I think there's a lot of things that should not be in, and they're more for casual. And even then, I don't think metal walls should be in casual. So uh, as for the the Mysterio and the rest of the bosses and everything, to finish summing that up. Um, Mysterio teleports away, which is an interesting, uh, interesting gimmick 
I don't per I don't personally enjoy it, but um, I guess it's it's interesting that they do that. Um, really, all you gotta do is stay in the spot, stay undercover, keep shooting his like clones that he teleports to and stuff like that. So he'll eventually aggro and come back to you, right? Um, the only problem is that if other people are trying to third party, that they could possibly just steal it, and make the medallion land in the middle, right? But uh, ultimately, it's not like a terrible fight. Uh, in in terms of all the medallion bosses, I I just think that they're they're decent fights. They're cool, right? But there's just way too many mini AI mini bosses. The little henchmen. There's just too many henchmen around. But I'm still positive about the season. I still think it's fun to play. I, I just think that uh, for like competitive play, like ranked and tourneys, it should be fairly balanced. It should be more balanced. It shouldn't be how casuals feel, <laughs> for sure. Um, cars should be out too. I'm just, I'm gonna say that's not supposed to be in ranked. Okay, but it still feels like a good season so far. Uh, I, I like the new weapons, so. Um, and I like the new POIs, so this will be interesting. The movement, I think they could add some more movement, but other than that, I'm still enjoying it. Uh, for the Dunkin' Donuts refreshers, they were really good. Uh, I drank all of them except the lemonade completely, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give them a, like a, a, an 8 out of 10, uh, both of them, and you know, they tasted really good. They tasted like uh, pretty sweet energy like tea drinks whatever but uh, I think it only used green tea hopefully for the caffeine and hopefully no other added caffeine hopefully <laughs> but they tasted really good so I'll give them an 8 um, lemonade was lemonade I'm not gonna rank that uh, the season I'm gonna give like a 7.8 right now it's fun it's enjoyable but there's also things that need to be balanced so in terms of competitive play it needs to be balanced for sure in terms of casual play go have a ball with the craziness yeah, I enjoyed playing the custom maps too. I hope you guys enjoyed those too. Uh, almost spooked my pants off, bro. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button. Let me know your guys' thoughts about this season so far down below. What do you guys think, man? Um, and if you're in the future, what do you think of this season now? Like, is it kind of goaded? Uh, <laughs> I think this season is going to be pretty cool, like, going through with whatever updates they make. I think I think they're going to make some good updates, and we're going to see what it leads into. So I hope there's a cool event coming out of this season. That's also something. Uh, one more thing that I want to say, though, I hope that people can start going into Fortnite seasons more for the gameplay. And start thinking about more, like, where are the cool changes that they're making for Fortnite gameplay? Like, what, what's fun and new for us to play with? Other than, as opposed to people going in and being like, oh, what's in the battle pass? You know, too many people are going in and, and initially thinking, oh, I got to see what's in the battle pass, right? It's got to be what's in the game. We got to start thinking what's in the game. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.